Hello and welcome back to The Witcher on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode, we went into the crypts in the lakeside and met Beringar. And then we went to Black Turn Island and met the Lady of the Lake. Now today we are here in the village area of Lakeside. And uh, we're going to do some exploring around here. I think the first place we want to go is over here. Because this is going to be the inn where we're going to. Now there's going to be a lot of exploring, a lot of looting, and a lot of side stuff, collectibles, like fist fights and such, that we'll be doing this episode. We've got the healer's hut here starting off. Instant check around for loot and a familiar face there. Who is that? Do you guys remember her from chapter one? I hope she'll buy some of my stuff because my inventory is kind of full. And when I say kind of, it's like to the brim. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Alright, so she will buy some of our stuff, that's good. Uh, yeah, this is Abigail from Chapter 1. She was a witch that uh, had a lot to do with Alvin, and all the villagers were pretty much against her. I don't know if I need to keep the basilisk hides. I know I don't need the fletter fangs anymore. Or the wolf pelts. But yeah, all the villagers hated her, and it came down to either her or the villagers, and we definitely chose her to keep her alive. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff too. Like, we honestly don't need all these drowner brains. We can sell three stacks of those and still have 34 left over. Is there anything else we have, like, multiple stacks of? Cadaverins. We can get rid of 50 cadaverins. It's kind of hard when stuff doesn't stack up next to each other. Gnats Acid. We can do 50 of those. We're making some money off this, at least. Like, we need any more money at this point. Do we have her books? We have the books. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Alright. Alright. So yeah, that's Abigail. She'll be more important later on in this chapter. Let's finish looting her crap here. Don't think there was anything else here. No. Yes. Alright. So the main building we want to go to here is, of course, the inn. Dandelion should be there. We can unload on a lot of this food while we're there. Food and drink. We also have our notice board here, which we don't have enough room for all of these. Alright, I'll come back to that. I will come back to that. Let's go into the inn. Alright, this is the country inn. Let's start off by finding their two innkeepers here. Why? I don't know why, but there are two innkeepers here. And our inventory is full again. Let's talk to an innkeeper. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut. So... I'll find it. How can I help? Alright, so there are two large huts. Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. 
The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. Oh, so Julian's here. That makes that a little easier. One thing. Yes? All right. Any interesting stories? Interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing. Had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen. But fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witch. She gained a new family at Kaer Morhen, the hold of the witches. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witches feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress. Learning to love killing, death followed her. Everyone she loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the witcher and sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? That's actually really interesting. When I first played this game... I was new to the Witcher series and franchise, so I might have heard all that and didn't think much of it, but now I know exactly what all that is about. That's really cool. Yes? Alright, now the uh, thing I came here for, I wanted to store some stuff away. We have quite a bit of stuff here. We don't have three runes of any kind quite yet. Store this fist tech we aren't going to use. Um, I've already read that. That's actually an extra there. That's a new one. Read it, store it. New one, read it, and store it. So, uh, this one needs to be sold. What else can we store away for now? Nothing else, I don't think. Alright, alright. Let's uh, find somewhere where we can sell some of this. But yeah, anyways, all of that, if you know who Siri is in the Witcher series, then that is all about her. And everything that happened to her in the books, I believe. If you've been watching the uh, Netflix series, then uh, you should definitely know what all that's about. Definitely. I think we need to talk to Dandelion, but first, let me... There's Julian. Let's uh, do our fist fighting first. Looking for the rock? The rock. Minute. Hey. Hey. I don't know why I can't fist fight the rock right now. 
Did I need those guys to move? No? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Let's talk to Dandelion then. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to call the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, women, song, and dice through the night. Dice? I've played. Didn't think the game was popular in the provinces. People here go wild for it. It's incredible. I doubt I'll find anyone who's a challenge. Try me. Some say I'm as good at poker as I am at poetry. I'll believe it when I see it. When I'm done with you, you'll be looking for solace among the elves. One of them's not bad, actually. Alright, let's play some dice poker. Let's get it. Max bet. Roll the dice. We got two pairs. Fours and fives. He has two pairs, twos and fives. So I think we're both going to go for the same thing here. We're going to go for three of a kind on fives. My only other bet is to go for a full house, but I think I have more of a chance for the three of a kind. He has a pretty good chance to... Oh, two pairs, fives and sixes. If he gets that three of a kind, we're done. He did not get it. Alright, we won the first round. Let's go again. Three of a kind right off the bat. No, full house right off the bat. You love to see it. You love to see it. He's gonna fold. No chance. Boom. Alright, so we finished the sharper quest. I love it. So there is only one more required dice poker game. I say required. It's not required to beat the game, of course. It's required for the dice qu poker quest. There's only one more for the dice poker quest that we have to do. Gerald? So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic... And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. See ya. Alright, so that's all with him. Can I sell stuff to this innkeeper? Welcome to my inn, traveler. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? Um, so I didn't see your daughter anywhere around. Did I miss her somewhere? I see the other innkeeper. I see a bunch of fist fighters. Julian. Yeah, no, I don't see your daughter anywhere around. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, traveler. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding. So likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? Uh, what about that underwater city? The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made murky waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? Got any rooms? Five orins. 
Uh, we're going to meditate till daytime here. Maybe get the daughter out so we can sell stuff. And maybe so we can fist fight this guy. Looks a lot more lively right now. There's the waitress there. How can I help? All right, yeah, we can definitely sell a good bit of stuff. Looking at my... I don't have anyone to drink with this chapter, so it looks like we're good to sell all of the alcohol. That's really nice. That's going to keep us freed up on space. Alright, yeah, get rid of all of this junk, dude. Get rid of the fish, the candies... I don't know about the wyvern meat. We'll keep we'll keep the five we have. That should be enough. But everything else can definitely maybe keep the wyvern eggs too. I'm being very indecisive. But I mean that's a lot more room than we had, so that's good. All right. The rock. You beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. Sounds ominous. Want to fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 Orions. Jeez, that's a lot. But I have like 10 times that, so I'm in. I have more than 10 times that. I'm in. You know, I'm going to be honest, I still don't completely understand the mechanics to fist fighting in this game. But it's easy enough, you know? I know you right click to block, and you uh, left click to punch and kick. Other than that, I have no idea. But we won. Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, now another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the nameless one. Choose your reward. Uh, we want the meteorite steel. The meteorite steel. Yeah. That's gonna be our third piece of yellow meteorite. Now, the his teacher there that is talking about, the last fighter, that's... It's going to be a thing next chapter, so we don't have to worry about that right now. How can I help? Um. One thing. Yes? Where's our, uh. Do we already have the yellow meteorite steel? Where's our yellow meteorite? Did we drop our yellow meteorite somewhere? Or am I just not seeing it? Was our Did we have a yellow meteorite sword in this slot? That we dropped at some point? Ouch. That, uh, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit, actually. I have no idea where I would have dropped that, and uh, it's probably gone forever now. I love it. Well, uh, hopefully we can get two more yellow meteorites somewhere along the way and make that yellow meteorite sword. Let's uh, talk to Julian next. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. 
We can sell stuff to this guy. That's nice. He has um, a bunch of different stuff that we can sell and buy from him. Looks like we have most of the books here. We're actually, we're going to want the Striga book. And uh, I'm thinking we might as well buy the other two. Since we have the money, you know? No, you know what? We'll, we'll save our money for now, but let's buy everything else. Or sell everything else, I'm sorry. We want to keep a regular silver ring. But other than that, everything else should be able to go. And then we'll really have plenty of room. Uh, we uh, just uh, bought that. Go ahead and read it. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Where's my... Uh, there it is. Double Cross of Alzer. It's only 200. And that's only 50. All right, let's read these now. Got a glossary for dice poker. The koshe, that's actually pretty important for later, so it's a good thing we uh we got that. The skull head, not familiar to me, but uh let's see what he has to say now. Geralt? I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. I think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? Um... I know we need the alabaster figure at some point. The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. I'm pretty sure that's what we need. Should we... We'll, we'll save that for later. We'll go back to the Lady of the Lake later. We shall speak later. And uh, now he will not talk to us. I'm not a fan of the music just cutting in and out like that. Not a huge fan. Where did he go? I've lost him. Oh, there he is. Geralt? Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that the grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. 
Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract, they became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Farewell. All right, so that's all we can do there. Let's uh, head over to the village now with a fresh inventory. But first, now that we have a fresh inventory, let's uh, grab everything here. We got a Devourer contract, Giant Centipede, Wyvern, Basilisk, and Alp. We'll go ahead and read all these to activate the quest. Right-click. Right-click. Right click and there we go are there any of these that we've completed already we need three royal wyvern eggs that we have we can turn that one in real quick I think we definitely have the basilisk hides too yep I'm trying to wait for these to scroll through because if I go through here they won't update anymore. I think we have the Alp Fangs as well. Yep. Goodness. And that's it. Okay, so we need to see the innkeeper, Julian, and the village chief. Yes? I'm assuming it's this innkeeper. How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your koi. That's why I didn't sell the wyvern eggs, people. Hey, Julian, you're next. Geralt? I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. I have three hides. Let me have a look. Undamaged. Excellent. Here's your reward. Farewell. You know, while I'm here, I'm also remembering I need to buy five pieces of bread. Bread. Does she have bread? Did I just... Okay, that was the level up noise. It sounded like the failed quest noise. It confused me. How does she not have bread? Oh well, we'll find the bread somewhere else. It should be in the village. Let's go. Spent a lot of time in the inn already, so uh, we won't get through the village area like I wanted. But we can at least get through a chunk of it. Check our map here. Because there's like a whole bunch of other stuff like all down here that we got to go through. Alright, we can't pull out our swords to run faster either so it's just gonna be a slow walk there it's not too far though look at this we're already here all right new region village there's a sack there we need to loot You're different. How interesting. we also we need to give a sugar doll to a peasant woman. This is Adam's house here. Go ahead and get looting on everything here. Fairy tales and stories. Alright. I'm not speeding up through all this because it should be pretty fluid. We do have to talk to different people, like the blacksmith here is one of them. I think that's how we get the sugar doll. Unfortunately, he just ran inside on us. Greetings! Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? 
Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearned to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Farewell. Alright, so I thought you got the, uh... The sugar doll from him somehow. Maybe it's his wife? Greetings! What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher's like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. Any work? Yes, I am having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus. I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. Alright, so uh, seems this uh, blacksmith here isn't being exactly faithful. Chicken. Um, let's talk to him, see if he has any thoughts on that. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards... I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? Um... I really don't need either of those. And I feel like helping the wife is... Morally right. Sorry, I promised to help your wife. Yes? And he just doesn't care at all Fair that well. I denied his request. Interesting. Yeah, I thought there was a sugar doll somewhere involved in that, but I guess not. That is another quest we gotta do at some point, though. I saw a Rusalka by the lake, but was puzzled to see her bleeding from the mouth. I asked Witcher Berengar about her. What did he say? She proved to be a Bruxa, in truth. How do you know what a Bruxa is? My grandmother told me of vampires when I was young. Tell me. The Bruxa is a vampire, A vampire almost as horrid as the Nosferatu. Quite attractive. 
Bruxe easily lead foolish boys astray. She has her way with them, then sucks their life away. Bruxe give you nightmares. Usually they remain silent, though they can scream terribly. Fortunately, they cannot stand garlic. Oh, they are rendered helpless when you cut off their heads. Thanks. I'll be sure to smack any Bruxa I meet with garlic and decapitate her right away. I'm pleased to be of use. How much longer? So, uh, that's not the peasant woman that we need to do anything with. Blacksmith's son. A customer. Why so surprised? Rarely do any buy arms in murky waters. I'm no salesman like my father. Your father. My father told me to sell arms. But if no one buys... But better not to argue with father. Maybe he wanted you busy. Perhaps. I'm to sit quiet and sell to those who want to buy. What are you selling, bud? Get rid of the alchemist powder. Don't have any uh, yellow meteorite for me. Damn. It bothers me that I don't have my yellow meteorite sword, honestly. Can you tell? Alright. Nothing else there. That's the edge of the village. I don't know why they have doors on some of these. Like, you know you can't get in there, but... It's an item you can interact with and it's just locked. I don't understand. Alright, let's, uh... This is Alina's house. This is where Alvin is staying. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Not exactly. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé's spending time at the inn? We're not speaking, he's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Malatella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Alright, so if you remember right, there's kind of a big love triangle going on in this chapter. You have Selina, who's getting married to Julian. Or no, Alina, who's getting married to Julian. But, uh... Julian likes her sister Selena and Selena likes Adam I think I don't know it's complicated it's a lot of drama I feel like I'm in high school what's up what's up buddy hi Geralt I have a new home it's nicer than the Zima was it's just that I missed you you like it here I do are we gonna kill monsters together Alvin Fighting monsters is very dangerous. I promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk <laughs> later. <laughs> He's always the Grand Master. Remember that line. Oh my god. That's a good one. Oh, man. I I'm not saying anything. You guys got to figure that one out for yourself. Who are you, buddy? Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion, the poet. Supposedly, he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. 
You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. <laughs> okay, just bye. Done. Whatever, right? And he runs off. Okay. Let's see what else is going on in this village here. Should we go back in and talk to Adam more? Let's see if he has anything else to say. Yes? Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Dude, stop booting me out of the conversation when there's still topics to go over. That's annoying. How's your poem? Oh, oh. <clears throat> your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes? Man, that poem would make Dandelion cry. Alright, so we've met two of the central characters here, Adam and Alina. Let's see who else we can find. Let's check out the, the chief's house here. Anything to loot? Of course. Oh man, he has a lot of stuff back here. All right, so this is the Chief Tobias Hoffman. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha. I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha, yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Ah, uh, let's go for the notice first. Let's hear about the notice. What do you have for me? Five alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised. How vile and disgusting. Absolutely terrible. I want it. Take my money. PC Beta? Uh, let's see. We'll just go down the line I here. I talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Besiva. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. All right, so that's everything with the chief. There should be an option actually to play dice poker with him. There wasn't. There should have been an option to do that with Julian too, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe I can't do that because I already finished the professional quest for dice poker. I don't know. I'll have to look into that in between episodes. This is the prize-winning cow, if you, in case you're 
ever so curious. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this. And she is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. Her tail and that hunter. Mm -hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Not the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, obviously. Let's uh, continue checking around here. I think we're almost through with everything in the village. Almost. Got a few random huts still around. Some red roses. Ballads. We're still hoping for a sugar doll somewhere. Uh, down here next. This is Selena's house, another important character. One that we're supposed to be looking for for Alina. Is she in here? No, it doesn't look like it. She's gone missing, it seems. Alright, well, uh. Hopefully, we'll find her somewhere. I think we gotta go talk to Julian first for that quest. Unless she's outside and we just missed her somewhere. That's very much possible as well. Looks like we got two more houses. And uh, our inventory is full. Grab what we can from this house. And uh, go sell some of this stuff. We should be able to sell at least a couple things to the uh, blacksmith guy, his son here. Hopefully that gives us enough room to finish looting everything. Got two whole spaces here. That's uh, not a lot. But we can go ahead and do that. Free up a little bit more room until we can sell more stuff. Alright, back to those two leftover houses. After we're done with these houses, I might end the episode off there. Next episode, we'll uh, finish up in the fields here. It's showing the village map, not the fields map. So, we'll finish up in the uh, whole village fields area. And then uh, we might go talk to a few others that we can go back and talk to, if that makes sense. Like Julian... And yeah, I can't think of it all right now, but y you know what I'm saying. You got it. And if you don't got it, you'll get it next episode. Bunch of books that we've already read. Bunch of food. And a basket. No sugar doll anywhere. Alrighty then. So I guess in between episodes, I'm going to look up how to get that sugar doll. When we, I'm also going to look up how to uh, play dice poker with Julian and Tobias. Make sure I can. Might be blocked off now. I don't know. Next episode, we're going to hopefully play dice poker with them. And then uh, we'll go back, talk to Julian, and do a few other things. So yeah, that's going to be next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.